Hey guys, it's Smudge here, and we're back in DCS for uh, round two of Smudgy's Flying Challenge. Now, I would like to say thank you very much to Richie UK for his suggestion, and his suggestion was to land a Huey on a Russian aircraft carrier. Now, Richie, you didn't specify whether or not the thing had to be shooting at me, so I am taking some liberties here. Um, I'm in a, a UN Huey, uh, so we've... Um, got permission from the Russian government in order to land on their aircraft carrier, which is very nice of them. Uh, so what we're going to do is get this thing started up. We'll fly out there and see if we can land on it. Um, now, just to make it a bit more of a challenge, uh, something a, a bit different than just flying out and landing on the actual boat, I uh, have set some weather conditions, I've made it a bit darker, a bit foggy, and there's also a full traffic pattern with um, the likes of SU-33s uh, taking off and landing from the actual uh, aircraft carrier as well, just to make it a bit more of a challenge than just flying out there and, and landing on it. Uh, so, just getting everything ready on the, uh, on the Huey here, ready to fly. Uh, just turning on all of the switches here. Uh, throttle down yep there we go now uh, I did do a, a video on the Huey um, a couple of weeks ago and a lot of people were um, commenting on on the fact that I was um, not starting it properly and that there was lots of flames coming out the exhaust which was kind of done for effect because I think it looks quite cool um, but that's just me. Uh, so normally what you do in the Huey is that you can uh, set the throttle to a minimum. You just wind it all the way down or just hit page down. Um, you can hit the idle indent here which allows it to put it into a shutoff and then you can just increase it so it comes past that shutoff. And then you hold down the home key to start the igniters. And then if you look at the RPM gauge down there that should just start slowly climbing. I'll go, and then if we look out the back, <laughs> just a little squid of exhaust there, but barely any barbecue. Not even enough to roast a chicken, that. So there we go, got this thing uh, starting up here, so we'll just um, trim out ready for takeoff. So that's the aircraft lighting there, so we'll just slowly throttle up. To bring us up to uh, idle RPM. Just wait for the RPM limit to go away there, so that's us all green and good to go. So we'll uh, hover taxi out uh, to the runway here and then see if we can't take off. Okay, here we go, so just slowly bringing up the uh, collective here to start lifting. Trimmed a bit far forward there, so we'll just start pulling back on that. Just trying to get this trim centered here. She's uh, kind of all over the place a little bit here. Not having any, any weapons on board or anything like that. It is quite light, so it's... Um, so kind of over responding to my collective inputs here, but it should be okay. Flying sideways here, but there is a little bit of wind which is uh, going to cause me to crab a little bit here as I'm taxiing, but uh, not enough to really kind of worry about at the moment. Although it should be a bit more interesting uh, when we get out to the aircraft carry and uh, we have to, to land on that. Another thing to do is just switch on the um, the radar altimeter here as well, that will be quite handy. Okay. Hmm. That wind's really starting to blow me about. Got about uh, 5 to 10 meter a second ground speed, um, or wind speed at ground level, so it's, um, it is a bit blowy, but it just adds to the challenge I suppose. I think we'll take this um, short turn on to the uh, taxiway just to get on the runway and then we'll uh, get able here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, just one thing as well. Um, just as I uh, was launching the game here, I just seen that they've um, announced that they're taking pre-orders for the um, Measuresmith BF109. Uh, so that's quite exciting. Um, now apparently the full re full release is going to be in November, which uh, is pretty exciting news. Uh, but um, yeah, hopefully the the actual kind of um, beta flyable will be with us uh, within the next month or so, hopefully. So uh, that's something to, to worth keeping an eye out for, as well as the uh, MiG-21 BIS. So I'm quite excited about that. I do like flying the World War World War II aircraft. So yeah, that that definitely kind of uh, gives me a little smile on my face. The fact that uh, we might soon have a, a measure smith to to go against uh, the Mustang as well. But um, one thing I'm very looking forward to as well is uh, kind of like the introduction of a, a Spitfire or Hurricane as well. I think that would be um, really exciting to have but um, again I've not really heard too much on uh, on how the development on the um, on any more British or American uh, aircraft is going so we'll just fly out here it is pretty foggy and I also have to keep an eye on my um, altitude here because uh, again it can be a bit deceptive so I'm at about 130 feet there and climbing so I know that that Russian carrier is out in this direction somewhere uh, he does have a, a few friends with him as well so uh, we'll just fly out in this direction hopefully we'll find him in fact, if we pull up uh, radio here we might be able to contact him so uh, let's see for in fact I think that's his smoke just on the horizon to the front there Did turn radios on, didn't I? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I can see lots of smoke just on the horizon there, and I think that's probably our aircraft carrier at, uh, at full steam ahead. So we'll just uh, continue flying out here and doing about a hundred knots at the moment, which is uh, which is not bad considering the fact that we've got a bit of a, a bit of a side wind here going on as well, which is uh, causing the, the helicopter to crab a little, but. Um, we're doing okay. Now, like I said, there is a, a full traffic pattern at the moment as well, so um, expect to see some uh, SU-33s buzzing over the carrier anytime soon. Sinking a little bit here. Just feel the water getting ever closer. It is pretty foggy. Yeah, that's definitely um, some sort of big ship out in front of us there. I think that might be our, our, our baby. Or is it? Yep, that certainly looks like it. One big Russian aircraft carrier coming out the fog. So we'll start slowing down here and then prepare to land. Now, with SU 33s kind of in the traffic pattern, maybe coming into land soon, I can't kind of line up with the deck, um, otherwise, that may cause uh, a pretty hairy collision. So what I want to do is kind of come to the side of her and then uh, line up to do a, a hover landing kind of on one of the, the landing pads on the side. Now she is moving, um, a full speed is about 13 knots, although I'm not sure I blink that she might be doing less than that. Um, oh hello, so as you can see there's just a, uh, another <laughs> SU-33 just come in for landing there. So uh, yeah, like I said it is a, a bit of a full traffic pattern so we um, we can't uh, we can't kind of fly over the, the deck and just land on the main part otherwise we might end up getting squished so I'm just bringing myself down here and watching my rate of descent and then just kind of controlling myself here just powering up to ascend here a little bit and then what I want to do is land uh, Oops. Climbing up just a bit too quick there. 
there's a, an aircraft ramp just behind the main tower and that's where I'm kind of going to aim to land on. Like I said, I, I can't kind of land on that main runway part, otherwise uh, we may get squished by an inbound uh, SU-33, which uh, wouldn't be too clever. And with this uh, aircraft carrier moving at the moment, it does make things just a little bit more complex. And then we've got a... Um, Hello. It's interesting. She's just squatting on me there quite a bit, so uh, ooh, this is interesting. Uh, she's uh, kind of not enjoying this one bit. So we go. So that's one SU-33 that's just landed there. So. Uh, I think that we might just have a little bit of time in order to kind of get over the deck and see if we can't put this down, so. so let's see if we can't uh, get over this and then, and then get her down. Don't want to hit that SU-33 because it's quite a tight parking spot here. Ooh, hello. No, no, don't do that, don't do that. Ah, oh, look at that. Pretty much on the nose. <laughs> Ooh, she's sliding a little bit actually. Might need to just um, pull her a little bit further over. I think the wind's starting to blow us just off the. Um uh, so yeah, we'll shut it down there and then we'll. Uh <laughs> that, that must be slightly bad because uh, it's still moving even though I'm not uh, controlling any of the controls but uh, I think that's kind of a successful landing kind of <laughs> she's still sliding forward that's uh, that's not very good at all so uh, yeah that's um, that's me kind of landing on a um, on a Russian aircraft carrier, even though this thing is uh, bugged out and it seems to be sliding forward and <laughs> ripping off the rotor blades. <laughs> what do you look at that? So yeah, there's, you know, a little bit of a bug there, but um, I'd, I'd still class that as a successful landing, I think, even though this thing is <laughs> trying to kill me somewhat. So uh, again, <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this, even though uh, the helicopter just decided to suicide itself there at the end. And um, yeah. Uh, there are some other challenges on there. I've had a, a challenge to land an SU-27 on the back of an aircraft carrier, which, um, again, is going to be a hell of a challenge in order to kind of stop that thing um, on a landing. Uh, but I think that's one I'm going to try next. Uh, so I just want to say thank you very much for your, your comments and suggestions. And um, even though this hasn't gone kind of entirely well. Uh, I'm going to put that down to a bug. <laughs> I think that landing was uh, could be classed as being a successful one. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> it's still trying to kill itself. That That's making me laugh no end. So, yeah. <laughs> this is Smudge signing off. We'll see you next time.